So here is the battery bag and inside this bag I have two 24 volt 10 amp hour battery packs connected in series so that's 48 volt 10 amp hour so zip it up and secure it with my bungee cord disconnect my internal battery pack and connect to the external battery pack and there you go Today we'll show you how to make a battery mount for an external battery for your electric scooter. I have a Swagtron Swagger 5 electric scooter here, but because this part here is almost the same for all electric scooters, even the non-electric one, we got, what, we got the Lime electric scooter, we got the Bird, we got Segway, Razor, almost all electric scooters have this part here similar, very similar. So this method will work with almost all scooters. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to mount an external battery pack on your electric scooter. The first one is a temporal resolution for a small compact battery pack. And the second way is the permanent solution to mount a variety of different kinds and different sizes of external battery pack. Let's get started. So here is the bottom of my scooter. This is the connector that goes from the controller to the battery. And the first thing you've got to do is to move this connector outside of the scooter so that I can plug in my external battery. So what I'm going to do is I am going to extend these two wires and reroute it up through this hole here, out through this rubber grommet. So these two connectors are going to hang out somewhere out here. That way I can still plug in and use my internal battery. And I can unplug it and plug in my external battery when I need to. Alright, here we go. I have rerouted the power cable to the outside of the scooter. So this wire is from the battery. And that wire is from the controller. I have to cut and widen the holes on the grommet in order to feed the wires through. Same on the other side. So basically everything is still the same except that the power connectors is now outside of the scooter instead of inside the scooter. The next step is to mount the external battery onto the scooter and I plan to mount the battery right on here. So I'm going to use a bicycle tube that I cut out. I'm going to put it right on the frame and that way it will, number one, protect the paint and number two, it will give the mount a little bit more grip so it doesn't slip. So we just peel this off and just tape it on here. That's it. Now that I have my piece of rubber protection on, I'm going to show you the first way and also the easiest way to mount external battery on here. So here I have a waste pack, waste not trash, and your body part, okay, not trash. So you wear this pack around your waist on the back, there's a belt and a buckle, and you can store cash, passport and whatnot in here when you travel. It's also called a travel pack. I got this pack from Walmart about $5 and it's about two liters in volume. So it will store this battery just fine. So over here I have my cobalt, 40 volts, two and a half amp power. Got my connector here. And I just connect it to the battery, like so. And then I put it in my back. And then I'm just gonna zip it up. Look like so, got my connector sticking out. Then I'm just gonna put it right up here and use the buckle. Buckle it up. That's it. Not going anywhere. Now I disconnect my internal battery and then I can connect the controller cable to this external battery. Turn on the scooter. Screen is on and off I go. 
this is a bigger size green works 60 volts 5 amp hour battery pack i got actually sticks the connector on the back here and this will fit in this bag just perfectly so let's remove the 40 volts battery pack and we put in the 60 volts and then we zip it up now we connect the controller cable to the battery hear that spark now we turn it on 61.9 volts let's see if it works it works a miracle well some of you might ask at this point why i can connect a 40 volt battery and then a 60 volt battery on the same controller the answer is because this controller supports different voltages up to 60 volts and i'm going to talk about that in my next video when i try this battery to run on the scooters this video i'm just going to focus on building the battery mount for this scooter so this back rests on the base of the scooter and it is secure on the back of the frame here via the uh, buckle and the belt so it is very tight it's not going anywhere the only limit for this bag is the size of the battery so for this particular bag the green work battery is a maximum size you can put in this bag so over here i have 224 volts cobalt battery pack and connected in series to make a 48 volt system these two batteries will not fit inside this bag the size problem can be solved by just getting a bigger bag um, you can just get any waste bag that is bigger than this with a belt on the back and you can always mount it on the back here but the problem with this travel bag or waste bag is that they are very small they are usually very small so it's hard to find a bag that is bigger than this and I do have batteries bigger than this I want to run on the scooter so I'm gonna to have to make a custom mount so that I can mount a bigger bag and bigger batteries on here so for the battery mount I'm gonna use these pieces of plywood to make the mount so here is how I put everything together I got this on here this on here and I got two triangular shape is wood it's actually two by two I cut in half diagonally and they will go on here like so same on the other side so this will give support for these two pieces of wood this gap here in the middle is how I mount on the frame like so and the last piece of wood it's going to go on the other side and this is for support of the battery so here are the dimensions of the wood pieces in inches i'm trying to use staples to secure the uh, plywood together but it's not very kind to the wood crack my wood there crack my wood here yeah so for the second one I'm just gonna use some good old screws So here it is, I got three screws and kind of sunk all the screws so that it stays flat with the surface and this is the surface that the battery is going to rest on. Looks pretty good. And uh, I originally planned to install these two pieces of wood right here so that it will give the pieces wood here more support but uh, after I install my screws and the staples it is more rigid than I thought it would be look at that it doesn't even move much 
not at all. So I don't think I'm gonna need this anymore because this is very tight in here. It's not going anywhere. And the next step is to install this piece of wood here so that it can support the weight of the battery. But I don't want this to be fixed because I might accidentally kick it and break it. So I'm gonna install a couple of hinges so I can fold this and it will make it more compact when it's not in use. Here we go, all the hinges are installed and I can fold it when I need to and that makes it more compact. And this can easily support the weight of the battery. Here is the battery bag I'm going to use for this setup. It's a lot bigger than the travel bag and I can store a battery pack that is a lot bigger. This is actually a lunch bag I got from Walmart. It's made by Arctic Zone and I got it on clearance for two dollars. So in this case I got two 24 volt 6 amp hour battery pack so it makes a 48 volt battery pack and just gonna zip it up. It's gonna look like so and it's gonna rest on here and then I need to find a way to secure this back onto this mount so I mounted two L bracket with holes on it so that now I can use a bungee cord hook it up and secure the back to the mount just like that and it is quite secure not going anywhere and when it's not in use you can fold this up and wrap this around and then hook it up to the other side and boom everything is secure in place so to secure this whole thing onto the scooter I drill two holes and put two long screw through and these will clamp down on the frame and it will secure the entire assembly onto the scooter. And before I mount it on, I'm just going to paint it black so that will match the color of the scooter and will protect it from the elements. And here it is. Now we're going to put it on, so I'll just slide it in here, put my screws in. And here's the other side and we are just going to tighten it up on this side. Put the nuts on. It's a bit loose now, but after I tighten these two nuts up, it should be tight. And that's it. It's very tight. It's not going anywhere. So here is the battery bag and inside this bag. I have two 24 volt 10 amp hour battery packs connected in series so that's 48 volt 10 amp hour that's exactly twice the capacity of the battery I have inside the scooter right now and let's give it a try here let's zip it up and put it right on here and secure it with my bungee cord disconnect my internal battery pack and connect to the external battery pack and there we go and I can still fold my scooter and it does not interfere with the folding mechanism here is the closer look at the mount so on the bottom here the mount doesn't sit completely on the scooter so there is still a little bit of room for my feet. And when I'm done, and just remove the battery, fold this up, tighten the uh, bungee cord, and voila, it's all nice and compact. I'm also gonna install a fuse switch. This is a combination of a switch and a fuse. So inside here, I've got a 30 amp fuse and if I push it down it would turn on the system 
if I want to turn it off I just pull the switch and it will turn off so the fuse is an automatic safety device and it will shut off the system if there's a short in system more than 30 amp and the switch is a manual safety device so I can turn it off anytime I want to this also serves as an anti-spark device because every time I connect the XT60 to the battery there is a spark and over time it it's gonna worn out the connectors here but with this the spark happens inside the switch so when I push in to turn on the system the spark will happen inside the switch and it will be safer that way and here is how I'm gonna mount the switch there are two holes on the switch here and this will allow me to put two screws through the holes and just mount it right on this piece of wood here and here it is connected to the red wire and goes to the battery so now I can just plug in my battery and no spark and switch on boom it's on turn on my switch up here and go all right it's time for test drive So there you have it, how to make an external battery mount for your electric scooter. With this setup, not only can I use and swap out many batteries, I can also use different kinds of batteries at different voltages from 36 volts all the way to 60 volts. The higher the voltage, the faster I can go. With this many batteries in my backpack, as long as they can fit in my backpack, I can literally go for 100 miles without having to stop to recharge the battery. I believe this is the future of electric vehicles. The ability to swap out a fully charged battery on the go will make superchargers obsolete. Range anxiety will be a thing of the past. And that's all I have for now folks. Next time I will try all these batteries with different voltages to see how fast and how far I can go. Until next time, thanks for watching.